Somewhere up there, about 13 billion miles away, two NASA spacecraft are racing through the solar system. In the vast expanse of the universe lies a tiny, brave traveler that has ventured farther than any human-made object in history. Launched in 1977, it embarked on an odyssey that would span decades, pushing the boundaries of exploration and forever changing our understanding of the cosmos. This intrepid spacecraft, with its golden record of Earth's greetings, continues to beam back invaluable data about the mysteries of deep space. But what it recently captured has left scientists astounded, raising more questions than answers. But what exactly has Voyager 1 recently uncovered? Is it really evidence of extraterrestrial life? A cosmic phenomenon that defies our understanding of physics, or perhaps a gateway to an entirely new realm of existence? Join us on this thrilling expedition into the unknown as we embark on a voyage of discovery and attempt to unravel what Voyager 1 has just uncovered beyond the edge of our solar system. During the hot summer of 1977, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory launched two Titan Centaur rockets. These rockets carried two very similar spacecraft named Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The plan was for these twin probes to study Jupiter, Saturn, and their big moons for five years. But astonishingly, even after almost 45 years, NASA is still in touch with both probes. They receive regular instructions and data from them through a deep space network, making Voyager the longest lasting space mission ever. After completing their main goals in just four years, NASA decided to extend Voyager's mission. The new plan included exploring Neptune and Uranus, two faraway planets. Then came the Voyager Interstellar mission, which aimed to go even farther and explore the edge of the sun's influence and beyond. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have now traveled 22 billion kilometers and 18 billion kilometers from Earth, respectively. They have traveled so far that they have left the area influenced by the sun and entered the space between stars. But despite their long life, the Voyager probes are now running out of time. By around 2025, it is likely that the probes will lose all their power and stop working forever. Although initially scheduled to fly for half a decade, the team of innovative scientists and engineers behind these spacecraft made several ingenious design choices that have allowed them to withstand a much longer and arduous journey. Each probe is equipped with a durable radioisotope thermoelectric generator. This extraordinary device converts the heat the decaying plutonium-238 isotopes produces into electrical power, ensuring a continuous energy supply for the probes. Additionally, the probes are equipped with 16 hydrazine thrusters, including eight spares, enabling them to make precise adjustments to their trajectory if needed. And to mitigate the risk of instrument failure, the probes likewise feature duplicates of most of their 11 scientific tools. These redundancies act as backups, safeguarding against any malfunctions that may occur. But one of the most critical factors in the success of the Voyager mission was its timely launch. NASA capitalized on a rare planetary alignment that occurs once every 176 years. This unique alignment allowed the probes to conduct flybys of Neptune and Uranus with minimal adjustments to their course. Moreover, during these encounters, the gravitational pull of these colossal planets significantly boosted the probe's effective velocity, surpassing what their rocket propulsion could achieve. This concept was relatively new at the time, having been previously attempted only on NASA's pioneer missions to Jupiter and Saturn. In 1981, Voyager 1 veered away from the ecliptic, which represents Earth's orbital plane around the Sun. It charted a course 35 degrees northward, with these new trajectories allowing it to explore new regions of space beyond the limits of the planetary plane. And after the Voyager planetary mission expanded to become the Voyager interstellar mission, a tough decision was made to deactivate the cameras on both probes. This measure was implemented to conserve power for the prolonged journey ahead. However, before bidding farewell to imaging, Voyager 1 captured the renowned pale blue dot photograph of Earth Taken from a staggering distance of approximately 6 billion kilometers, it still stands as the most distant image of our planet ever captured. However, this remarkable achievement merely marked the beginning of Voyager 1's odyssey. The spacecraft had to traverse a challenging region, known as the Termination Shock, to reach interstellar space. 
In this area, the formidable solar winds, traveling at hypersonic speeds, collide with the opposing forces of the interstellar wind, creating intense resistance that Voyager 1 and its sister probe had to overcome. Once Voyager 1 passed the termination shock, it ventured into the heliosheath, a region where the decelerating solar winds amass, becoming denser and hotter. This fiery domain was merely a prelude to the heliopause, the ultimate frontier separating the heliosphere from the vast expanse of interstellar space. However, contrary to popular belief, the commencement of the interstellar medium does not signify the conclusion of our solar system. In fact, it would take another three centuries for Voyager 1 to reach the Oort Cloud, a massive collection of icy planetesimals enveloping our solar system like a protective bubble. Exiting this celestial cloud would consume an additional 30,000 years, indefinitely liberating Voyager 1 from the bounds of our solar system. During their expedition through the heliosheath, Voyager 1 made a momentous discovery. It stumbled upon a remarkable phenomenon known as the heliospheric current sheet, where the Sun's magnetic field, spinning in contrasting directions on its north and south poles, generated undulations similar to ripples formed by a stone dropped in water. Interestingly, when these ripples reached the termination shock, they compressed as if colliding with the edge of a pool. Consequently, Voyager 1 observed that these compressed ripples transformed into magnetic bubbles beyond the termination shock. This revelation has since shattered the conventional notion that the boundary of the heliosheath was a smooth and well-defined demarcation. Instead, it revealed a dynamic and magnetically fizzy environment that has since prompted scientists to reassess their understanding of the heliosheath entirely. A monumental moment in space exploration occurred on July 25, 2012, when Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to depart the Sun's heliosphere and venture into interstellar space, speeding along at a staggering rate of 540 million kilometers per year, or 3.6 astronomical units. With 1 AU being the average distance between Earth and the Sun, roughly 149.6 million kilometers, Voyager 1 achieved this milestone, crossing the heliopause, the boundary marking interstellar space. This took place approximately 120 AU away from the Sun, illuminating a previously unknown location for this remarkable boundary. Interestingly, Scientists at NASA have revealed that these cosmic remnants remain from the universe's explosive birth and ancient exploding stars called supernovae. When these charged particles collide with one another, something remarkable occurs, as has been revealed by Voyager 1. They alter their paths and come together to form a region of stability called the heliopause boundary. Initially, the scientists at NASA were uncertain if Voyager 1 had genuinely crossed this boundary and ventured into interstellar space. However, their models suggested that the probe's plasma wave detector would reveal significant changes. And indeed, Voyager 1's plasma wave detector picked up a staggering discovery. The plasma density, or electrically charged particles, surged to a mind-boggling 80 times the level it had previously measured in the outer heliosheath. Additionally, the probe observed a sudden spike in galactic cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles originating from distant galaxies. Yet, despite these extraordinary findings, something peculiar happened which left the scientific community utterly perplexed. As Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, it detected absolutely no alteration in the surrounding magnetic field. This was a surprise because the prevailing theoretical models predicted that the magnetic orientation of the ambient environment would change significantly in an area influenced by the magnetic fields of other stars. To add to the mystery, Voyager 1 continued to detect no discernible change in the ambient magnetism, much to NASA's confusion. They were so bewildered by this unexpected anomaly that they chose to wait for nearly a year before making the official announcement that Voyager 1 had, without a doubt, ventured into the captivating realm of interstellar space. However, scientists were in for another surprise. You see, the Sun goes through cycles of activity that last for 11 years. During these cycles, known as solar cycles, the Sun's behavior fluctuates. Voyager 2 happened to cross the boundary of the heliosphere, called the heliopause when the solar winds were at their strongest. According to the models, the heliosphere's size should have expanded then. However, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause at the exact same distance that Voyager 1 had crossed six years earlier. This meant that our models were incorrect, 
Similar to the magnetometer finding, this discovery highlighted the importance of testing theoretical models with real-world data. It led scientists to believe that the boundary between the heliosphere and the interstellar medium is more complex and unpredictable than previously thought. In this distant region, where the flows of solar and interstellar particles meet, something even more extraordinary occurs. These particles collide with unimaginable speed, creating a mesmerizing spectacle of light. It forms a magnificent wall of fire, a phenomenon observed by astronomers. However, the true nature of this fire remains uncertain, and it's unclear if it burns like the fire we know. What scientists do know is that the plasma at the outer boundary of the heliopause, the region where the solar system's influence ends, reaches temperatures between 30,000 and 50,000 Kelvin. At first glance, traversing this fiery region would seem impossible without sustaining damage. Yet, remarkably, probes have managed to pass through unscathed. The plasma turns out to be exceptionally thin, much thinner than the air we breathe on Earth, thereby avoiding critical temperatures that could harm the probes. Studying this red-hot wall holds great importance for scientists, as heliopause is the last line of defense against perilous cosmic rays and interstellar dust in our solar system. This protective shield, known as the heliosphere, blocks around 70% of the deadly radiation originating from deep space, and without it, life on Earth would be impossible. The recent discovery of this magnificent wall of fire by Voyager 1 holds even more significance. It is believed to play a vital role in safeguarding our solar system. However, its exact contribution is still uncertain. Scientists are eager to understand the role it plays in shielding us from cosmic threats. The knowledge gained from studying this phenomenon can help determine the feasibility of future interstellar missions for astronauts. One leading theory suggests that billions of years ago, our Sun emerged from a hot and highly ionized region following one or more supernova explosions. It is believed that magnetic turbulence still persists near the heliopause to this day. If true, as the probes continue their journey farther away, they will likely encounter different magnetic orientations. However, their instruments will probably no longer be functional by that time. While the legendary Voyager mission is nearing its end, the twin probes are only beginning their extraordinary cosmic voyages. In approximately 40,000 years, Voyager 1 is expected to drift towards AC plus 793,888, a star located in the Camelopardalis constellation. On the other hand, Voyager 2 will pass 1.7 light-years away from the star Ross 248. These remarkable and resilient probes are likely to outlast even our own planet as they continue their solitary travels across the vast expanse of the Milky Way. As Voyager 1 ventured into the vast expanse of stellar space, it embarked on a unique sensory journey. Though inaudible to human ears, the sensitive instruments aboard the spacecraft captured intriguing sounds, relaying them across the vast cosmic expanse of Earth. At first, scientists were perplexed by the origin of these enigmatic sounds. However, they have since arrived at a remarkable conclusion. The celestial symphony they heard was the reverberation of interstellar gases, revealing an abundance that was previously underestimated. But as Voyager 1 has continued to transmit invaluable data back to Earth, it also had to overcome a number of daunting challenges. Even as far back as April 1978, Voyager 1 encountered a setback when its primary radio receiver malfunctioned. Since that fateful moment, the probe has relied on its trusty backup receiver. But recently, a peculiar phenomenon emerged, a disturbance in the telemetry being relayed from Voyager 1 back to Earth. However, after a thorough analysis, a surprising culprit emerged, a long-defunct computer transmitting flawed information. Swift action was taken by NASA as the agency quickly issued a command to the spacecraft to switch over to the functioning system. Miraculously, this rectified the issue, restoring normalcy to the probe's transmissions. However, the root cause behind the malfunction remains shrouded in mystery, leaving the curious minds of scientists intrigued and seeking answers. And according to astrophysicists at Boston University, the success of interstellar missions will depend mainly on the shape of the heliosphere. Is there a safe passage? A loophole for starship crews? For years, scientists presumed that the heliospheric bubble resembled the tail of a comet. However, recent research proposes a different shape, a donut, or even a croissant. If this new theory holds true, the heliosphere would contain gaps or openings that astronomers must locate and understand. 
As scientists endeavor to uncover the secrets of our cosmic shield, they listen closely to the sound of gas. Through these sounds and these subtle vibrations, they hope to gain further insight into the structure and dynamics of the heliosphere. These auditory clues could unlock the mysteries of the heliosphere's shape, composition, and potential vulnerabilities. The search for answers continues as we strive to comprehend our universe's intricacies and ensure future space travelers' safety. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.